So this is our calculator 8000, or as we rather say, calculator 8, because it has 8 bits. And it adds those together, or at least the outputs of them. And also multiplies it, and that's together. But that doesn't make any sense, and nobody wants to hear about anything else than the screen. So this fancy screen can show a lot of zeros, and a dot, and an equal sign, and another dot, right over there. <laughs> It doesn't equal sign. It do, yeah, it doesn't do anything else. And equal signs, dots, and zeros. It's not like we have 128 buttons on two sides. Oh, that'd be 256 buttons. Let's let's add some things together. I don't want to multiply yet. That's that's too fancy of a of a of a thing to use in a video. Pe people can't handle addition. No, uh, sorry, multiplication. They can handle addition. Of numbers, Pe people, people who use multiplication are, are like professors or engineers. So basically, this thing is now sorcerily adding 100 and 100 together, unless I push 116 and one of them. Yeah, I chose 116. My fail. Yeah. I'm kind of waiting for the the decoder to respond here. Yeah, you see that that's that's one hell of a fancy calculation right there. 100 plus 100 equals 200. Now now here's where here's where things get a little little fancy. You can subtract two. But that's that's what that's where most people get their minds blown. Like <laughs> at, at the subtraction here. That that's I couldn't even handle it at the beginning. I mean seriously. Look how I add the, the zero into the seriously <laughs> because it's zero. Yeah, and and then also pe people can't handle the the multiplication. That's probably the the biggest the flaw about being human. You can't multiply without a calculator in Minecraft because any other calculator wouldn't work. It needs to be in Minecraft. So I'll just start with something small, a hundred times fifty. Now. As this is a 8-bit calculator, and you could imagine that is quite big if you've seen my 5-bit calculator, this is going to take quite some time to decode. And it's done. That was actually quite a fast. Uh, now, I do want to say, in the last video I kind of joking about it's all vanilla. Um, we used, oops, we used mod blocks, like the lights are modded, but you could just use the normal uh, redstone lamps. We just like to use these because they're way more visible. But otherwise, we haven't added any mods. Now, I do want to show like the highest it can multiply. Uh, that would be normally that would be 128 plus 128, since that's the biggest levers we have in here. I haven't marked them, but this is 120. This is 128, and it's multiplying those together now, and that should be like I think it's 16,000 and something. Um. Yeah, it's kind of calculating. Come on. Yeah, the, the bigger the number are, the, the longer it takes. So yeah, that's the biggest single input. Now, if you understand anything about binary, you would know that 127 here, these two, activate the first seven bits. So, Naturally, if you add the eighth bit with the first seven, those will add together, and this will actually automatically decode it to 255, and also over here 255. Now this is glitching a little bit because my faggot friend does have a crappy server, and I do live like 16 plane hours from him. But yeah, it should eventually be showing it too, and if not, then it's a bug. Yeah, that's a two, and it's 65,024, which is right. Now, uh, another thing that we added, because it was actually kind of easy to add, was the, the squared. Now, squared, compared to multiplication, is actually the same. So, 255 squared, 255 to 255, which just equal the same. But you could potentially put in any number you want. Which that will now is going to jump back to 127 here. Yeah, and it's going to square that, and that's going to take some time to calculate. Yeah. So, the division part is kind of the hardest. We haven't added that yet. 
uh, you, you'll kind of see why when we show you what we built. That's right, by the way. So I'll just turn all this off really quick. And I'll actually show you a little grand tour from the air in the end. Okay, so we can now see all the parts of the calculator. Now the parts over there don't matter. That's a part of the screen. Now, what we have here is a 8-bit calculator, as previously mentioned. Uh, the definition of the 8 bits is the amount of inputs you have. Now, we have 4 and 3. That's 7. It's 8 bits because there is actually an eighth line. If you look down there, there's uh, four yellow, three orange, and one red. Now the one red is added additionally as the 128, um, as you saw in front of the control room. And uh, now the pink part here is the multiplier. The green part underneath, I'm just gonna fly, fly down for you guys, is the adder from the multiplier. Now this adds together all the numbers that come out of the multiplier. Um, those are a lot, by the way. The All of the outputs here are the green wires leading into the yellow wires, and the yellow wires all connect into this big brown decoder. Now this is the heart of this machine. I mean, this does all the work. Fuck the multiplier. Fuck the adder. Fuck everything else. Fucking decoder does all the work. Now the yellow part here is the adder and subtractor. I uh, did a tutorial on this with the adders and the XOR gates, I believe it is, in front of those. Uh, again, the outputs just link into the decoder. Now the decoder gives us uh, four bit, well, yeah, I'm just going to call them four bit outputs. It gives us four lines that are turned on in a special way, and then you've got to kind of decode the number into a number on the screen so underneath the underneath every number we have every number is a three wide section of coding as I, as I would say uh, we get the four inputs this then decodes this in this decodes then into one line it sends up and then here's seven lines of coding that then make the screen tell us a number and same over here um, this doesn't come from the brown decoder though. This is coming from two yellow decoders down here, smaller decoders, that actually decode our inputs and show them as, if you'd say you type in 20 times 20, these would then decode these 20 into 20s on both sides and show them. Now all the wiring you see down here is the wiring between the different parts. For example, here's the wiring going down into the multiplier coming from the right side and the left side is actually just going straight down onto it um, and it's branching off onto the side leading in here and over to the adder. Now I'll include a world download for this world if you want to explore it. It's the biggest calculator I've ever done and I'll exclude all modded blocks. Um, so it's just the calculator itself as a schematic. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, and thanks for watching.